Hey everybody, JT here, Serenity Farms Prepping. Did you know that as we speak, the United States is officially in a state of emergency in Ukraine? Pedo Joe has declared a national state of emergency for the U.S. because of Ukraine. In essence, this is a power grab. He has expanded his dictatorial edicts and his far reach into our personal rights and freedoms as a result of this. 123 times in just Two plus years he has added to the unconstitutional edicts to usurp our freedom and constitution. Now, if you remember, and you should because it's directly related and why we're in the mess we're in in Ukraine. In 2014, traitor Barry Sotera Obama and his regime of communists did a coup, not a coup, Obama, a coup in Ukraine where they had their own democratically elected leader who got along with Russia. The United States Democrat regime went over there performed an internal coup, removed that leader, and put in Pedo Papeto Zelensky. Why would you go into a country, depose the leader they had, who got along with Russia, had been democratically elected by the people of Ukraine, and install someone you wanted well money laundering child sex trafficking pedophilia selling children's body parts illegal weapons running and to date 46 chemical bioweapons labs that's why remember ukraine is not a nation they are a plot of land in between all these other countries by not being a nation or part of nato every country surrounding them and some that don't are using ukraine as a staging area for all the crimes i just mentioned skirting around the rules of war and the Geneva Convention. So, Ukraine, the politicians installed in 2014, have become enriched beyond your wildest dreams, just like the politicians here in the U.S. who were laundering money, weapons, drugs, children through Ukraine, right back into either their family's pockets, their pockets, or their campaigns, a.k.a. their pockets. So, let's take a look at the documents that are actually posted at whitehouse.gov. Okay, so, this is from a video by Redacted excellent site i mentioned them before check them out so on the white house site march 1st 2023 notice on the continuation of the national emergency with respect to ukraine on march 6 2014 by executive order 13660 
The president declared a national emergency pursuant to the International Emergency Economic Powers Act, 50 U.S.C. 1701-1706, to deal with the unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security and foreign policy of the United States constituted by the actions and policies of persons that undermine democratic processes and institutions in Ukraine, threaten its peace, security, stability, sovereignty, and territorial integrity, and contribute to the misappropriation of its assets. So let's parse out a couple things in this. We're worried about Ukraine. Why? How does that affect the United States? It doesn't. It affects the politicians in the United States. So unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security and foreign policy of the United States. How? Not once have any of us been told how Ukraine and Russia having a little tete-a-tete affects our national security. Because it doesn't. Okay, so it said that it was constituted by the actions and policies of persons that undermine democratic processes and institutions in Ukraine. Okay, that doesn't mean that persons who may speak out about the Democrats intentionally trying to start a war in Ukraine actually have to be in Ukraine. No, because it says those that undermine democratic processes and institutions in Ukraine, meaning if I sit here and make this video telling you what a sham and a scam and PSYOP this is, I am the person that is undermining democratic processes and institutions in Ukraine. I don't threaten their peace, security, stability, sovereignty, and territorial integrity, but the Democrats have that written into the wording when in March 2014, Obama and his regime went into Ukraine and intentionally undermine their democratic processes and institutions in Ukraine, threatening its peace, security, stability, sovereignty, and territorial integrity. And contributed to the misappropriation of assets. So assets means everything the Democrats were running and laundering through there. It doesn't necessarily mean money. Does Ukraine have gold mines, silver mines, lithium mines, uranium deposits? No. They make wheat. Has nothing to do with anything they tell you. Matter of fact, everything they just said they did it for is exactly what they did. They did it and put this out as an excuse so that they can enact more dictatorial powers on us, the American people, who don't want to be in Ukraine and realize Ukraine has nothing to do with the national security of the U.S. But just like 9-11, they did this so that they could expand their power control and their monitoring of U.S. citizens. Remember, Obama also gave himself the power to confiscate all finances, food, manufacturing, production, everything. If they declare a national emergency, which they've done, at any time they can swoop in, shut down everything, 
and then start confiscating. Could take all Walmart's food, but they won't because that's where they're going to funnel us after they confiscate all our food. They know who's preppers and who isn't. They can confiscate all guns and ammo because the military needs them. Because Biden gave it all away to Ukraine and Afghanistan and the Mexican drug cartels. They can take anything. All the farmers' food that they would plant got to be confiscated in the interest of national emergency so that we can distribute it to those that need it. But it gets better. The White House stated that the executive orders deal with individuals who undermine Ukraine's democratic processes as well as threaten the country's security, peace, and sovereignty. Deal with. Remember Obama and his drones? How he laughed? How he murdered Americans at weddings? Yeah. Remember... Pedo Joe stating, your AR-15s ain't going to be no good when you're going up against F-15s. Remember that? So this is the USA Today, a known left-wing rag questioning from student loans to useless face diapers. Why does Pedo Joe want to keep us in a perpetual emergency? It's long past time for Biden to end the national emergency and give up the tremendous powers that go along with it. Well, Ingrid, you just answered your own question. Whenever politicians get power, they do not give it up. Here's the details of the Emergencies Act. I'll put it up on your screen. The National Emergencies Act, in its current form, lacks any protections for, like, checks on this, basically, right? Any congressional protections against it. It allows the president to declare emergencies with nothing more than a signature on an executive order. And presidents can renew those emergencies every year ad infinitum. I like that word, or those words, ad infinitum. Congress can vote to end an emergency but it effectively needs a veto-proof majority to do so. Hmm. So thanks to a FOIA request, a Freedom of Information Act request, we now actually can get a closer look at the presidential powers because we couldn't see what they were. How do you feel about that? We don't even know what powers the president has just given himself. The only reason we know is through a Freedom of Information Act request. So including the president's authority to seize control of all communications as outlined in these documents, which as the Brennan Center writes here in red, is very broad. Look, suspend or amend the rules and regulations applicable to any or all facilities or stations for wire communication within the jurisdiction of the United States as pres prescribed by the commission. Closing any facility of station or wire communication, the rule therefore of its apparatus and equipment. Oh, seems kind of broad. Yeah. Does, does anything that we currently have right now use wires? What is wired communication? It, if I plug it in and charge it, does that matter? Well, the FCC has defined broadband as wires now. Yeah, so Wi-Fi is wired communication. Any communication. Any communication. <laughs> Control from the White House. So wired communication. Turns out it means anything. And today, Politico, out with a brand new bombshell today, saying that the department, and by the way, the mainstream media will ignore this story, of course, um, the Department of Homeland Security, under the Biden administration, has been doing exactly that. The Department of Homeland Security has a program gathering domestic intelligence, and virtually no one knows about it, writes Politico. Spying on Americans. Didn't we learn anything from Snowden and the NSA story? Maybe they just moved departments. Like the NSA's burned, their asses got chapped. So now we move it to the Department of Homeland Security, where, let's be honest, that's probably where it belonged to begin with. Yes, um, but, you know, not a lot was repealed from Snowden. There was a lot of now checks on powers and Congress asking questions. But even in his final chapter of his book, he's like, well, these things now, or at least people are aware of it, you know it. Um, but not, not a lot of that stuff. 
president can, without congressional approval, use these emergency powers to stop you from traveling, revoking passports. A passport may not be designated as restricted for travel to or for use in any country other than a country with which the United States is at war, where armed hostilities are in progress, or where there's an imminent danger to the public health and or physical safety of the United States. So, now you know many of the reasons why the U.S. has been in a perpetual state of emergency for Ukraine since Pedo Joe got selected. They are not giving this up. There's not enough of a majority to override it. Excuse me. So you see what they're doing by uh, trying to start the fake war to get somebody nuked in Ukraine, protect all their corruption and crimes against humanity, at the same time circling back to usurp our freedoms and rights as awarded to us by the Constitution and God. It's all one big planned scheme. Whew. Buckle up. Like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now, JT, sign up.